Ginger? Hello again, Dust. Are you all right? I'll be fine. Just a lot to think about. Listen, about Jin. Yes? What was he like? He was very kind. Almost to a fault, really. I like him already. <laughs> yes, he had that effect on people. I like to believe it's what made you do all those wonderful things for Aurora and Mudpot. Ara was always testing me. Every time I made a choice, he would tell me if it was the right one. I was choosing whether to follow Jin or Cassius. I believe they were both trying to influence my actions. And you listened to Jin? Yeah, he's kinda hard to ignore. He is, isn't he? Or at least he was. No, Ginger, I think you were right the first time. I think Jin continues to live through my actions. He's guiding me, keeping me on the right path. But what of your other half? Cassius murdered my family, Dust. He destroyed my village, killed my friends. How can you control such a terrible being? I feel his presence every time I swing the blade of Ara. I believe the Elder was right. Without him, I'd have been cut down long ago. But Jin... Jin keeps him from taking control. As long as Cassius lives within you, though, there's always that danger. You could always be pulled to a path of evil. I won't lie. I felt him pulling me to take the quick and easy path. To leave the weak to fend for themselves. To show no mercy to those in my way. Perhaps someday you can be rid of his foul presence. Maybe. Someday. For now, I need him to defeat Gaius. There's no other way. I know. Still, I'm glad we were able to talk, Dust. Me too, Ginger. I'll be back before you know it. Be careful. Ginger, you really need to let him go. I wish I could replace him. I do, but... No, you're right. I need to accept that Jin made his own choice. And it's led to this. To you. I just wish I could remember more. Sometimes I wonder if my thoughts are Jin's, or from Cassius, or if I truly am thinking for myself. It sounds like you still have a lot of questions about who you are. I suppose I do. Well, I should probably get going. I understand. Good luck, Dust. Stay safe out there. Like the Elder said, I may share your brother's soul, but the choices I make are mine alone. I'm sorry, Dust. I didn't mean to suggest... No, I'm sorry. I can't imagine the grief you went through in Zeplik, thinking I might have been your brother. You do have his eyes. His face. It's so... strange. You could really be him. I suppose I could be. I may not have his memories, but if his soul is guiding me to act as he would, maybe there isn't a difference. Yes, Dust. Your actions make you who you are. Then perhaps your brother lives on through mine. I'd like to think so, Dust. It gives me hope that he didn't die in vain. I'm sorry things had to turn out this way. No, you're right. We all choose our own paths. Jin chose his. And looking at you now, looking at the things you've done, I think he made the right choice. I think he did too, Ginger. I'm glad we had this talk, Dust. It makes me feel a lot better, knowing that my brother is helping to save this world. Come back soon? Of course. Goodbye for now. I'm sorry, Ginger, but I'm not. It's okay, Dust. I know you aren't. But knowing that a piece of him is guiding you to help so many people, it makes me happy. I think it'd make Mom and Dad happy, too. I'm glad we were able to talk, Ginger. Me too, Dust. Come back soon? Of course. Goodbye for now.